Nikola Jokic is one of the best players in today's basketball. The Joker's a superstar who's dominating the game with his basketball IQ and all-around complete offensive game. While Jokic stands at 6'11", which is tall for a basketball player, let alone a point guard, he has outstanding playmaking skills, some of the best in the league. And this is no fluke, as he learned the basics of basketball in the Yugoslavian system of approaching basketball. Let's go in for a little history lesson before analyzing the Joker's offensive game. Yugoslavia was a country in southeast and central Europe for most of the 20th century. Due to many different reasons, the country was broken up and divided into six independent countries – Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and Slovenia. Even if you're not familiar with these countries, you're certainly familiar with these players – Nikola Jokic, Luka Doncic, Yusuf Nurkic, Nikola Vucevic – usually the itch guys come from the former Yugoslavia Republic. The country was known for many things, some better than others, but one of Yugoslavia's strong suits was definitely their sports system, or more particularly, basketball. The country invested a lot in sports and sport education, and that did wonders for them. There were a lot of basketball clubs and academies that worked on developing young players and guiding them on their way to the pros. But everything changed in 1953 once coach Alexander Nikolic took over the Yugoslavian national team. Up to that point, the country had very little basketball success, but the man who many considered to be the father of Yugoslavian basketball managed to turn them into a basketball powerhouse. Nikolic was a basketball fanatic who developed his own way of approaching basketball. His approach was simple. He had five set plays, a sideline fast break, and eye-hand chest defense. These three things were his primary focus when teaching his players the game of basketball. Despite Yugoslavians being tall people who had great athletic gifts, Nikolic always focused on building them from the ground up. All of his players, no matter how tall and athletic, needed to know the basics of basketball, the rules of the game, and the importance of teamwork. Every player worked on his dribbling ability and shooting technique from a very early age. There were a lot of Yugoslavian players in Europe who were considered revolutionary because despite their huge frame, they had very well-developed guard abilities. But the first player who became known worldwide was Croatian forward Toni Kukoc. Toni Kukoc was a 6'10 forward who was more than capable of handling the ball, running the fast break, and even shooting from beyond the arc. Kukoc joined the Bulls in 1993 and immediately made an impact, playing a huge role in the Bulls' second three-peat. The game was played very differently in the 90s, so Kukoc didn't have the chance to showcase his skills to a full extent. He still had a phenomenal career, but imagine him being a full-time ball handler in today's five-out systems in the NBA. Another player who was ahead of his time due to being developed in the Yugoslavia basketball system was Drazen Petrovic, another Croatian, but this time a deadly shooter with a level of accuracy not seen before him. Unfortunately for Drazen, he tragically passed away just as his NBA career was starting to kick off. Even if you look at some less outstanding NBA players from that era like Vladi Divac for example, who was an all-star in 2001 but never had as big of a role on a team as somebody like Tony Kukoc, even players of that caliber had complete all-around offensive games. That's still a thing in the modern NBA as well. For players such as Nikola Vucevic, Bojan Bogdanovic, and Goran Dragic are still big contributors to their team's success even in their later years because of their high basketball IQ and effectiveness on the court. Players in Yugoslavia were taught from an early age that their primary focus was their team's success, not their individual highlights. That's why despite being phenomenal individual players, they would often play a smaller role that would be more beneficial to their team in order to get to the next level. Players such as Toni Kukoc, Drazen Petrovic, Vladi Divac, Dino Raja were all superstars in Europe and had major success winning MVP awards, championships, and receiving major honors for their achievements. But once they joined an NBA team, they were aware that the NBA game is played differently and that they needed to have a different, oftentimes smaller role in order for their team to meet success. And they did just that, no questions asked. In terms of revolutionary, the Yugoslavia national team was and probably still is the most revolutionary team in all of basketball. Forget the Showtime Lakers or the 90s Bulls or even the 2016 Warriors. The Yugoslavia national team made the modern game of basketball what it is today. While the Dream Team is the greatest team ever assembled and is the ultimate progression of American basketball, the 1992 Yugoslavian national team was more of a revolutionary team because they were always a collective that was carefully chosen so that the players could complement each other on the court. They certainly had brilliant individuals, but it was always more about the team as a collective rather than the players themselves. Drazen Petrovic was one of the first explosive scorers whose offensive game was based around his shooting ability. Tony Kukoc was the ultimate versatile forward who could play and defend all five positions on the court. Aleksandr Djordjevic was the combo guard, a more than capable scorer, but one that knows how and when to kick the ball out to the open man. Vladi Divac was one of the first big man facilitators, but also had a soft touch around the rim as well. 
They were extremely well put together as a unit and basically had no weaknesses, but ultimately fell short to the Dream Team, who were just an unbeatable powerhouse. However, they were idols of young Europeans who didn't want to be like Mike, but be like Kukoc, Parasovic, Paspalj, Raja, Petrovic, or Divots. And there's one youngster who grew up and somehow managed to have all their talents and then some. That youngster is a back-to-back -back NBA MVP and currently one of the best players in the world. Despite not being able to watch the 1992 Yugoslavia national team live, Nikola Jokic was inspired by that very squad. Nikola was born in 1995 and grew up in Sambor, Serbia. Jokic had a tough childhood due to the NATO bombings in 1999, but that played a big role in his later passion for basketball. Playing basketball and riding horses made Nikola live life like a normal child. The first youth basketball team Jokic joined was in Vojvodina, where Jokic became known as a dominant figure and instantly received interests from bigger teams. In the summer of 2012, Jokic signed a contract with Mega Vizora, a team that's known for developing young players. Mega Vizora is the most successful team outside the US in terms of getting their players drafted in the NBA draft, so obviously they only choose to develop the best of the best. During his time in Mega, Jokic was coached by the promising young Serbian coach Dejan Milojevic, who played a huge role in developing Nikola as a player. The Yugoslavian approach to basketball is based on Aleksandr Nikolic's teachings. No player, regardless of his size, should be excused not to have developed playmaking and shooting abilities. Of course, some are going to be better than others at one area and worse in the next, but no player should be regarded as a weak link offensively. Jokic joined Mega as a raw but very gifted 17-year-old player. Novica Velikovic, who was one of Nikola's idols growing up and now works in Mega himself, said that Jokic was so good that he wanted to beat him up. You know that kid, he arrived, a chubby kid had no muscles, takes his shirt off in the locker room, and I just had to ask him, son, have you ever worked out in your life? And then comes the first exercise the coach gives us, some dribbling drills, and he does them with ease. And the coach comes to him, shows him some tricks on how to attack me, as he knows a lot about how to get me to jump. And so we start playing five on five, and he does this behind the back dribble that gets between my legs, and I'm just out there standing and can't realize what just happened. As I realized what the kid just did, he'd already scored and the whole team was laughing. I went at him and he just smiled and said, what's up man? I just couldn't believe what that 17, 18 year old kid was able to do. It's obvious that Nikola is a once in a lifetime talent, being able to pull off a move like that as a 6 foot 11 chubby teenager. In Mega, he worked a lot on his passing and dribbling abilities. That played a huge role in the team's success as at the time, rarely did some squad have a big man that was able to rebound the ball on one end of the court, dribble it in the open court, and dish it out to the open man for an easy basket at the other. Over the years, he developed his accuracy and expanded his shooting range, opening up the court even more for him. By the time he was 19, Jokic had already become one of the team leaders in the 2014-15 season. He won honors such as MVP of Round 1, where in the game against MZT Skopje, he had an NBA stat line of 27 points, 15 rebounds, and an index rating of 44. A couple of games later, he had a 17-point, 12-rebound, and season-high 8-assist performance against Zadar, which put all of his skills on the table. He ended the season with an impressive 15.4 points, 9.3 rebounds, and 3.5 assists average that was enough to name him as the ABA League MVP. He was also named the ABA League Top Prospect for the 2014-15 season. By the time he joined the NBA, he was already an all-around offensive player. He had a complete package of dribbling, shooting, and passing, and the gift that cannot be taught by any a 6'11 frame which allowed him to see over defenders and control the game as he wanted. Nikola Jokic is one of the most talented offensive players we've ever seen on the basketball court. While he's developed even further since joining the Denver Nuggets, it's without a doubt that the Yugoslavian and Serbian approach to basketball and their philosophy have played a huge role in making him the player he is today. A complete offensive package. Let's just try to enjoy Nikola Jokic's magic on the court as much as we can.